Hi, I'm Mele Kramer and I'm a doctoral student at Walden University and I'm here today with Ji Wan. She's the cultural director, Korean cultural director for the Arizona Asian American Association and she's also one of our rising star, uh, rising stars from the Rising Star Youth Leadership Program. So Ji Wan, can you tell us a little bit about coming to Arizona, also how you found the four A's and a little bit about the the program that you do as a cultural director. Sure. Um, so, Mele, thanks so much. Um, as she said, my name is Jiwon Nam. Um, I've been in the Valley for as long as I can remember. Born in South Korea, but really raised here in the Valley. I like it hot. I, I think I found the four A's um, through a mutual friend. I think it, it, it shows um, you always need a good community around you, and, and uh, I found that through 4As as well. They really speak to uh, my understanding of community. The 19 cultures that make up 4A weave such a wonderfully unique tapestry that you won't find in any other organization here in the Valley. So it's such a it's such a wonderful community to be a part of. They, they kind of uh, took me in to dive into the deep end, and uh, I couldn't be uh, happier. I, I think there's always something to do, some way to better the community, whether it be through voter registration, civic engagement. I think we just had a phone bank, which is amazing. Um, a tour of the of the Arizona House of Representatives. You can't beat that. Um, but also on the other side, our festival coming up the first weekend of December in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I think that's going to be a great representation for Korea. As Mailey mentioned, I am the Korean Cultural Director. I came on board in that position this year, so it's been kind of a, a fun challenge to say the least. I think the, the challenging part about the Korean culture is um, there's so much out there. Um, and in particular from the, the Korean wave. And as much as I also love BTS, it's not all our, uh, our culture is made up to be. Um, I think it's important to show that our uh, community of 50 million plus um, is also one of the biggest, brightest economies in Asia, one of the most innovative countries um, in the world, and uh, I think 4A presents a unique opportunity to do that through the festival. You get to see a little bit of our culture, our history through traditional dress, through our food, and I love the food, you'll love the food. Um, and of course, uh, a bit of the, the song and, and shows we'll have. We'll have an incredible fashion show that I hope everybody else will be impressed by. The models work very hard to give an accurate representation of traditional Korean wear. So um, for all those reasons and more, I, I really hope everybody comes and um, stops by our booth. Every booth, but ours might be a little better. You don't know. <laughs> You'll have to stop by to see. Um, I think a part of the 4A initiative that really drew me in was uh, Melee's work with the Rising Stars. Um, I think 4A does a great job at, at uh, capturing a multi general approach, multi generational approach to nonprofit organizations, and that's something that's missing um, in, in some of the other organizations um, I've been a part of. And, it's great to have a mentor um, nurture me up through this organization, how to organize people, how to fundraise, um, how to reach out to different communities. And so the initiative that I've chosen for the Rising Stars is in um, hand in glove with the refugee community here in Arizona. It's a small but very robust community, um, particularly led through Let's Read Neighbor uh, with Malik, and then of course the new Syrian Hebrew initiative um, through Jamil and uh, PCs for Refugees with Riyadh. As you can see, uh there's a lot of effort here um, to do a college prep workshop, I believe November 10th is the date we chose, college prep workshop for refugees on November 10th. I was really inspired by this through my work with Let's Read Neighbor. I'm a mentor for a Sudanese refugee family and the oldest Ahmed has uh, higher education ambitions, but how, right? 
How do you come from Sudan to the U.S. and immediately know what to do, how to get into college? I think that's kind of a, a missing step in this process. So to help try and bridge that gap, um, I hope this college prep workshop that will explore how to choose colleges, how to choose your programs, um, how to prepare for your exams, and really how to get the financial aid to do it because college just isn't cheap. I think those three main topics will be covered in our workshop for these refugees and I hope they take away far more than that. Um, my personal hope is that they will also find um, college-bound refugees here in the valley to kind of connect and, and be a community of their own, be support system to each other because uh, I can tell you from my experience in taking the SATs, you really need a couple friends to calm you down. So I really hope uh, they get just the basics and then some out of this, this workshop. It's been a great pleasure to coordinate with um, Let's Read, with New Syrian Human, and with P PCs for Refugees because all organizations bring in um, a unique component to create a, a better event, a better goal. Um, I think from us, we, we bring in kind of the firepower, if I could say. Um, we've done a lot of the coordination in the background and it's, it's been a very exciting one to try and see you know, what resources are there from the Syrian community? You know, are there community leaders who'd love to come and, and speak to? Um, from the four A's, you know, um, we have some people who have vacations and who understand financial aid a little better than your average bear. And um, so it's been very exciting to see all of these resources come together. Um, I think that's it. I, I think there are some great initiatives uh, for uh, Rising Stars as well um, in different communities and to, to impact different walks of life to get our message out there um, because in its truest form, the, the four A's is about bringing people together. And uh, what better way than to see you know who your neighbor is, go out there and see what, what you could do, what could you give them a helping hand, right? Um, because that's, that's really part of our message.